week's motor news. When you hear the name Mercury Monterey, what comes to mind? Well, if you were keen on automobiles back in the 50s and 60s, you might think of sleek cars with two-tone paint and tail fins. But today's Monterey won't be easily traced to that family tree because the 2004 Monterey is a family-friendly minivan. And certainly a good reason to ponder that age-old question, what's in a name? The 2004 Mercury Monterey is more than just a replacement for the Villager minivan. It is the first of four new vehicles over the next three years designed to bolster Mercury's upscale image and sales. The seven-passenger Monterey is Mercury's first long wheelbase minivan. At 120.8 inches, it has nearly nine inches more between the wheels than Villager. And while Villager was a thinly disguised Nissan Quest, the Monterey is kin to Ford's revamped Freestar minivan. But the more luxurious Monterey does boast some obvious differences. Taking design cues from the Mercury Mountaineer SUV, the Monterey is quite polished in exterior appearance. Witness the big signature chrome waterfall grille, unique monochromatic body cladding, and ample tail lamps with satin aluminum accents. The side entry doors are large and provide easy access to the rear seats. While light in operation, we suggest you go for the power sliding doors and power lift gate and gain optimal loading convenience. While Monterey is not the biggest minivan, the cabin is airy and spacious. Wood and bright accents provide highlights for the wide rolling contours of the dash. This low efficient style reminds us of Audi and VW products and will make its way to more new Fords in the future. A single pod houses a well-planned gauge cluster, clearly seen through the tilt steering wheel and is augmented by an easy-to-read digital message center. The center stack is simple, smart, and logical, housing a standard AM-FM cassette and CD stereo and dual-zone climate controls. But a navigation system so popular in Honda's Odyssey is not available. Ford-built minivans are standouts in safety and the Monterey is no different. Dual-stage airbags are standard for driver and front passenger, and three-point seat belts and head restraints protect all on board. But for enhanced safety, opt for Ford's patented three-row protection safety canopy. Its multiple airbags and sensors help safeguard rear occupants in side impacts as well as rollovers. The Monterey offers wide twin front bucket seats. Power adjustable seats and pedals allow anyone to find a perfect driving position. But the real metal of a minivan is in the back. The second row split bench folds easily and is removable. Entrance to the third row seat is easy and it now includes the fold flat into the floor system that is increasingly a must have for minivans. Multiple storage compartments, almost a dozen cup holders, and the available rear DVD entertainment system also remind you this is a primo family van. And for all that a family has to haul, there's big cargo space. With second row seats removed and the third row seat folded, maximum cargo capacity exceeds 134 cubic feet. The 4,400-pound Monterey is motivated by a standard 4.2-liter pushrod V6 engine. Output is 201 horsepower and a robust 265 pound-feet of torque. In fact, that's the most torque in its class. Towing capacity is 3,500 pounds. And that torque is linked to a front-drive four-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is not offered. On the track, our Monterey launched to 60 in 9.4 seconds, taking the quarter mile in 17.2 seconds at 81 miles per hour. Very decent numbers for a van. Throttle response is deceptively smooth at launch, but power really comes on at 3,200 RPM and pulls strong until the red line. Overall, transmission shifts are flawless and quick and for a minivan, rather impressive in their finesse. The Monterey's four-wheel vented disc ABS brakes averaged a stopping distance from 60 to zero of a reasonable 129 feet. Fade was minimal and stability great. In handling tests, our drivers noted modest leaning in corners, but nothing to upset family carriage capabilities. The Monterey accelerates smartly out of turns with only a hint of oversteer when pushed hard. 
The front McPherson struts and semi-independent twist beam at the rear are well-tuned and deliver a consistently soft and controlled ride even on our rapidly decaying East Coast highways. Freeway hop never upset the Monterey's pace. Even fuel economy is reasonable. According to the EPA, Monterey is capable of 16 miles per gallon in the city and 22 on the highway. On a mixed everyday loop, 19 is expected. And expect to pay reasonable prices for the well-equipped Monterey 2. A convenience-trimmed Monterey starts at $29,995. Upgrade to the luxury trim and shell out $33,995 while $35,525 is the tab for the top level premiere. Mercury has suffered for years with a minivan too small for most buyers. The new Mercury Monterey corrects that situation completely. With its almost elegant styling, well-packaged and safe interior, array of popular minivan conveniences and class-leading torque, the Monterey fits Mercury's minivan needs perfectly and provides upscale minivan buyers with a sensible, well-executed choice. Well, I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week when we'll test Chevy's new Colorado compact pickup and Acura's revamped TL sedan. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, visit PBS online at pbs.org. To order a video cassette of this program, call 1-800-873-6154. Motor Week has been brought to you by... Pet Boys, we're car people. We love cars. We live cars. We breathe cars. That's why we're such big Motor Week fans. Of course. After all, they love cars, too. Proud to support Motor Week on PBS. Pet Boys, we're car people. And by... What are you looking for? Bay Motors. This program was produced by Maryland Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.